Did you just get a new handheld or ECU and then find out that values in the system do not make any sense? Today on Phytex Tech Tuesday, we're going to explain why that happens and that you need software to fix it. Phytech now has multiple versions of ECUs and handhelds. Over this time, we're seeing a lot of customers use new ECUs with old handhelds or old handhelds with new ECUs. Sometimes when doing this, the software in each component doesn't match up and the handheld will read crazy numbers. We're gonna show you how to identify it and to correct the issues. The way that this ultimately happens is if you purchase a new handheld, the handheld software that comes from us at Phytech has the latest version of software in it. That software, if it doesn't match the ECU that you're using, the values will skew and read differently. A way to identify what ECU you are using, you're going to go down and look at where are the fuses. If the fuses are in fuse holders along the main harness plug-in for the system, you have an early generation ECU. If the ECU has a little relay box with fuses inside of it, it's like a 2 inch by 2 inch block, that is a new style ECU that we are now using. With this information, we'll be able to identify next our handheld to then provide the proper software. Now if we're looking at the handheld, we're going to want to know what's in the handheld software. So we're going to check inside the handheld under the right Cal to ECU section for the software version. The software version is going to have T and then three numbers. Something for example like T198i or T210. One of those software versions will explain to us, the Phytech tech team, what software you have in the handheld. With knowing those two software versions, we'll be able to send you the proper software to make the handheld and the ECU match so the values make sense and you can go through your initial setup and traditional tuning. So now that you have the proper software sent to you, you may want to check out our other video on how to load that software. With that, once everything is loaded, you'll be ready to set up the system and tune. Here's an example of a new style ECU that has our two inch by two inch relays and fuses into a center holder. If you have the older version, they would be in line in the main harness. But with this setup, I have an older handheld software plugged in with it. We can see if we go to the initial setup into engine setup, values don't make sense. Cylinders are 168 cylinders, cubic inches 1,997. The reason why this is happening is this ECU is loaded with T210 software. And if we go back, in this system, we can go down into right Cal to ECU on the main menu, and we can see that it's loaded with T198i software. In this situation, you will have to contact Phytech and speak to one of our techs to get the T210 software for this handheld. Once you have the software matching, all the values will start to make sense again in the handheld, and you'll be able to tune like usual. Now with the new T210 software loaded into our handheld, we can scroll down into our initial setup, then engine setup, and all the values now make sense. Eight cylinders, 355 cubic inches. From that point, our software is correct and you can start using the handheld as normal. Just to clarify, this really only impacts the throttle body EFI systems. So if you have an LS version, or one of our Ultra Rams or a classic EFI, the software doesn't get mixed up in this fashion. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Phytech Tech Tuesday. Please like and follow this video for future Tech Tuesday information or visit us at phytechefi.com for additional tech videos.